So I just got out of the shower and I heard this insane beat in my head. It was like this entire, like without warning, Metro Boomin 21 Savage offset vibe. I heard the chord progression. I heard the entire ambiance. So I'm literally like, I got dressed. Like it took everything of me to not get out of the shower and come just start working on this with the soap suds on my body, shower cap and everything. So I'm excited to get this started. I'm gonna start with these piano keys. I got this like acoustic natural grand piano from Expand. So I'm about to start with that. And I'm about to lay down um, um, the melody. I was like thinking something like this. I was hearing something like this. So if my dexterity is with me today, I'm about to just record that in real quick. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. And I want that humanization. So I'm gonna just sh kind of time shift all of these. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is now like record that as audio to a WAV file. I'm gonna drag this in and I'm going to like turn it into an entire texture. And then we can bring in the actual piano. And actually, I'm going to consolidate this because I'm hearing like a kind of double time texture and I'm going to see how I can finesse that really quickly. Maybe like something like this. Right. And then we shrink it. Because it'll shrink all of them. Now let's pitch that down. Duplicate this because I want to put gross beat on it, but I do not want to like lose the like authentic articulation, the humanized articulation on those keys. So what I'm going to do is copy the patch of expand, paste it in here, and then we're going to come in here, change the grid to something pretty big, quantize it. Boom, that's probably good. And then I'm going to export this as audio. Cool. The 14 drum kit has a bunch of sounds for my placements and TV syncs too. Now, I'm not entirely sure why you don't have it yet because it's free. And besides that, it's lifetime updates and those are 100% free too. And you get access to my 14 letter where I send you free gems on how to actually make money with your beats by being a valuable producer. So here's a nice list of a bunch of other perks you'll get so that we can just get back to the cookup. If you're interested in the sauce, peep the link in the description below. to this so let's do some EQ on there Let's see if we can slip some delay like right under that compressor. I'm really trying to finesse right now. This might, this might go crazy. I gotta tweak the heck out of that intensity though. All right, now let's go to March Madness. This one has me in a crutch, brother. Look, this shit is good. It's good. And it's free kit, get it. And we 
we go back to Elysium. I'm about to grab the Melody Bus real quick. There we go. Cool. Bet. So now I'm about to go get my laundry real quick and then I'm going to come back and move on to the next section of this. So I'm going to keep it a band with you. After I did some laundry, I took a nap, bro, and it was satisfying. But we are back. We are back. So I'm thinking now I'm about to just add some of that ambiance that I heard in my head. Definitely going to find some dogs barking to start. That's a necessary, necessary effect for this. I think it's here, right? Yeah, no, there's a crazy one in this kit. I don't even know if you can get this kit anymore. Yeah, yeah, bro. Back in the day, this one used to have me in a crutch. If you know about my beats, you know, you've probably heard this before. It, it used to go crazy like I could even stretch it out so we might do something like that like put it on event and then just stretch it to the full 16 I'm telling you this is like that one hot sauce I forgot what it's called you could put this on everything you can put it on everything <laughs> Let's do like some effect layers. Gotta get the tubular bell in there. It's just dark. I kidding bro I knew what I was gonna do and you know what we're gonna do next like don't kid yourself gang don't kid yourself you know what we're about to do you know what we're about to do. Don't kid yourself. If you know, you know. <laughs> Cool. So I'm kind of hungry. I'm not going to lie to you. That nap left me absolutely famished. So I'm about to go eat some food and then I'll be right back, gang. All right. So I'm not going to lie. I did something a little light. I added like a kind of orchestral section to everything. Really, it's like a horn section build for like what will be what will this this will be the intro. This will be the hook. Yeah. And then this this will be the first eight bars of the verse. This will be the second eight bars of the verse. So the orchestral section starts here. And then it builds into this string section right here. I also have the string section here, but I might take this out. But I just want to let you hear it really quickly. Because I'm not going to lie, I caught a vibe from the last time I saw you. Started watching Alien. It got me feeling this dark vibe. So that's why I made this orchestral section to kind of fit the vibe that I was feeling. 
I gotta do a video on how I set the vibe in the studio, but this ain't that, so I'm gonna just play this real quick. Pretty hard so now I just want to come up with a dope baseline to add to kind of make it more cinematic and dark so I already had repro open I'll probably only have it in the intro to start I know it's an F and I probably just start on the root note. This one's really good though. It just gives it like, yeah, this one makes it seem like Mike Dean just laid a little bit of sauce on it. It sounds like a patch you'd use. I think that's more so what I mean. It's got that texture to it. Even Metro, Metro be using those dark synth bases, bro. But I'm gonna just render. If you have Repro, render to audio and close that shit immediately. It fried my last MacBook, I won't lie to you. And my MacBook was, my last MacBook was pretty tough. I want to do one more bass line that's like different chords, basically. Or the chords get flipped. That's more so what I mean. Oh, that shit is crazy already. Listen to that. I don't have the keyboard thing up today, and I don't feel like turning it on right now. Just It'll be pointless, but... Just, I feel like I should say that more in every video. Like, bro, hit save. It ain't no joke. All right, now we need to bring the bass in to the mixer. Now we can finally open up some drum stuff, actually. So I'm going to go back to Elysium, which, thank God, it's open. Boom, boom. But we will need all of that right now. That is absolutely crazy. So I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of hungry again. I've been having one of those Saturdays, man. You know, like a sleepy Saturday where you kind of just vibe. Like it's one of those Saturdays that you've been needing for a while. It's definitely one of those for me. So I'm, I'm about to go eat some more food, but I'm going to probably finish this today. All right. So we are back. Sleepy Saturday is over. It is officially Sunday service now. Your boy went to bed mad early. It was very restful. Saturday was fun for me, man. I woke up, did some journaling. All that's done now, so now I'm getting ready to just finish up this beat right now. So let's get into that. So we gotta get started with this 808. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been this is the part that I really heard when I first heard this beat. It was like the piano and the eight this buzz 808. Like just something like this, I promise you. It was this was the simple pattern that I was hearing. shape it using some of these pre-computed effects some of the more old school ones and then some of the more new school ones oh now we're trapping my g now we're trapping now we're trapping snare time that's it right there <laughs> click the first one and that's it bro we are trapping too hard this morning like what is going on to do rat kick don't play with me now you know i want to 
to open hat, but something I love to do these days is to use something else as the open hat, like in that same spot. It's like a triangle, something that has that similar like met metallic texture. I think I recently just did a uh, shout out Kofi, the editor, by the way, the goat. Um, he probably just got done editing the drum programming video where I was talking about like the whole metallic grouping thing. So definitely go check that out if you want to understand my drum programming. Pretty solid concepts that I've boiled down over seven years. It might seem simple, but it's not simple at all. What it'll do is it'll take all the things in your brain that feel like complex topics and reduce them down to a very simple formula that you can use to succeed at drum programming. That's more so what I meant. That's what I got for you. Pretty dope Metro booming without warning tight beat cooked up over the last couple of days, about 24 hours total to make the whole thing. Probably about an hour of actual cook up time, probably a little bit more than that. Let me know if you have any questions about the workflow at all. Shout out to all the members of dope who make it possible for me to make content on this channel. That's fun and informative without having to take any corny sponsors. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to learn more about how you can join my label and get a bunch of dope perks, Along with that, check out the first link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Peace.